Hello, I'm a PX Toy Cat, and I'm sure you've heard of the Magic 8 Ball. This is a device that you shake, you ask questions, and then it gives you the answers to them. Well, what if I said that the Magic 8 Ball was over 60 years old now? You'd feel pretty old, right? But we have a modern day recreation in the form of the Minecraft Magic 8 Cube, because Mattel, the same company that made the 8 Ball, actually has the rights to make Minecraft toys. So they made this weird hybrid between the, yeah, again, the Magic 8 Ball and Minecraft, and it makes me a little bit uncomfortable because it doesn't really work. Actually, wait, I, I think we've made a mistake here. Before we can even start the run, I've got to ask the Magic 8 Cube, Magic 8 Cube, should I play Minecraft with you as my guiding principal? Or, you know, maybe I should not and I should just make a 10 minute video of me eating pasta today. So, Magic 8 Cube, should I play Minecraft? The, the answer is like stuck in the middle. Again, it's not a very good device. But we're going to wait until it gives me something. Guaranteed pay dirt is what it says. Did, did you read that? It says guaranteed pay dirt. I, what, what is that? What, what do I take from that? Yes, I'm going to make some money. Going to make some dirt. Guaranteed pay dirt. So my answer, funnily enough, is Creeper says yes. So again, you can't probably read it on there. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to uh, remove the face cam today. Because I'm slowly getting more and more invisible for some reason. I'm going to remove the face cam. Okay, so here we are in a brand new Minecraft world. I'm looking forward to seeing what the 8 ball decides we're going to be doing today. Uh, hopefully it decides well and we have a happy, prosperous Minecraft world. And maybe we'll even do the unthinkable and make a Minecraft house. Because of course, the 8 ball or 8 cube, I guess, will be deciding all those things. So yeah, I guess our, our first move should be go towards the forest because it's towards the center of the map anyway. So I guess our first move should be to head towards this forest. It's closer towards the center of the map if you look closely anyway. So let's go there. And let's uh, chop down a tree. Oh wait, you know what? This, this would be silly not to ask the uh, cube if we should chop down the tree. So magic 8 cube, should I chop down the tree? Let's find out. Compass points to yes. Hey, good news friends, we actually get to chop down the tree. See, this is proof the 8 cube knows what it's doing. There was a fair chance it was going to say no, my entire run was going to be ruined, but it didn't ruin the run because the 8 cube cares about me, the 8 cube cares about you too, the 8 cube cares about us all. <laughs> so the way I play Minecraft, and I know this is kind of weird because a lot of people like to just sit there chopping trees for quite some time, I like to spend as little time as possible chopping trees with my fist. It's just a slow, boring process. You have to do it at the start of every game. So what I instead like to do is get to a wooden pickaxe as fast as I can, then find some stone and go straight up to the stone pickaxe. So yeah, the next step while we look for a place to settle down is to get some food. Except before we kill something, I feel like this is a another decision we should defer to the 8-ball from 2. So magic 8-cube, should I kill animals during this run or should I be a vegan? I guess I'll just ask, should I kill animals during this run? My sources say no. Well. Looks like we're a vegan. Not only does the cube think that I should not do something, which is a respectable opinion by itself, but the cube has sources again. Imagine the mystical powers that be that have sources behind that cube. I'm not I'm not messing with that. We're not gonna kill any animals today. Instead, we have to now look for all the seeds we can. So the cool thing about being the person who asks the questions is that, you know, you basically have more power than the all-powerful cube, and you might say that's ridiculous, Toy Cat, but all I have to do is be like, so, uh, magical cube, are pigs an exception to the meat rule? Magic 8 cube, can I eat pigs because they're not really animals? Uh, are pigs separate? Reload chunks, then ask. I think the easiest way to do that is to leave and join the game. Okay, so those chunks definitely just reloaded. I think we can all agree. So let's ask the cube. Can I eat pigs because they're definitely not animals, cube? I got stuck between two choices here. Oh, here we go. Yes, no hacks required. This is a bit of a weird religion, but I guess I'm a vegetarian who also eats pork because I don't consider it an animal. I mean, like, it's not too far a logical conclusion from, like, the same reason a lot of people don't eat pork at all, right? And we just found something very delightful because there is a pit of lava here, uh, which is especially great because nighttime has fallen while I've been goofing around with the cube so much. So yeah, we've got a huge pit of lava. We want to come back here because this will make things handy later. So it is awfully dark and this forest is pretty samey it seems all the way across. So let's ask the cube if we're out of sleep. Should Magic 8 cube, should I keep walking through the night? Dig down for yes. I'm not sure how to interpret that answer, but I guess I get to dig down for yes, and then I, then I have to keep walking through the night. It's the worst of both worlds. Go make myself a cave in the ground. I mean, it does say dig, dig down. So if this goes badly, I am blaming the cube. Oh, we found some iron ore. 
You know, maybe this cube does have some good ideas. It knew there was iron ore directly below me. You know, I'll be honest, I was pretty skeptical when the cube asked me to break the number one rule of Minecraft, but then it turns out I got some iron ore out of the deal, so maybe, maybe it wasn't so bad after all. Oh, and some coal as well. Wow, you know, the coal gives me torches, which will make things way better. Oh, and it literally puts me into a cave right down here, almost at the uh, bedrock slash diamond layers. So I really want to go down there, but to get there, I have to get over this lava. Any sane man would place a block in front, but I think we should ask the cube. Magic 8 cube, should I just jump over the lava? How badly can that go? Yes, no hacks required. There are no hacks required for me to jump over this lava. Hey. So we didn't find diamonds, but we found 29 iron, which is exactly the right amount to make a full set of armor, a sword, and a bucket. You know, the three things I would say we need most right now. And that is pretty crazy, in my opinion. And I guess, therefore, what we can take from this is this was all meant to happen. The cube knew I wouldn't find diamonds. You know, the cube has decided I'm not worthy of diamonds yet, but it has decided, very gracefully, that I do have access to, uh, you know, this much iron. So we need to kill sheep because we want some wool, but we're not going to eat their meat because that would be mean. Uh, again, it's very much okay to kill them for their wool. It's just not okay to eat their meat. That is how the 8 cube religion has decided it will be. I guess now the only question is, should we try and build an actually good house, or can we build a toy cat ugly house? So, Magic 8 Cube, can I build an ugly toy cat house? Compass points to yes. So just in case you're new around here, I would describe myself as a unique builder. I don't tend to follow most of the rules behind what makes a good or a bad build, because again, I like to have fun designing something, building something new and different. Every single build I ever make is something that's never probably been made before, so... There's that to say at least. But yeah, we're gonna start with this diorite block. Set the tone for this. Oh, it looks like that, that makes a little M-shaped doorway. Is that good? Do I want M for a doorway? Oh, M for Magic 8 Cube. It's perfect, see? And now we're also gonna make a nice pentagon-shaped house. Or like, not a real pentagon, but like one of those lazy like diamond slash triangle mixed with a uh, square kind of thing. So now we get to do everyone's favorite part of making a house and that is interior design. Every everyone loves some Minecraft interior design, which is why today we're gonna make ourselves an absolutely delightful house. It's gonna start the staircase here and there as like an internal dividing wall. And then we'll have these little slabs go across the middle. You know, in the same way people like to overinterpret religious text over and over again and like make their own meaning basically from it, I'm gonna do the same with this magic eight cube and say, well, clearly it's saying signs point to yes so often and compasses point to yes, that what I need to do is have a literal sign pointing to yes. And there we go, signs point to yes. It's not It's not like a, you know, a vague thing anymore. It's a literal proof, you know, so all signs do point to yes. You know, I'm gonna be entirely honest with you. There is a part of me that kind of enjoys making this house and knowing there's like some section of the audience that are like tortured by like, but why are you doing it that way, Toy Cat? So, you know, given that's the case, you might say, well, Toy Cat, that's kind of bad of you. That's not good. You shouldn't enjoy people, uh, you know, like uh, suffering or whatever you want to call it. But like, maybe it's not that way. Maybe what this really is, is because every religion needs like an enemy, right? Maybe our enemy today can be people who insist on telling other people how to build. So if it upsets you seeing how someone else builds, maybe this is a lesson for you. Maybe uh, this is a thing you can learn from. And it looks like it's raining. So whenever it rains in Minecraft, I like to get out of that rain situation as fast as I can. But because it's daytime, we have to wait till night to sleep this off. Instead of dealing with that in the slightest, why don't we take our food and maybe go to the nether? So Magic 8 Cube, it's been a while since uh, we've asked the question. Magic 8 Cube, should I go to the nether? Prediction blocked soz. When was the last time you ever heard anyone say the word soz? Like... Was this cube designed by someone, like, in their 40s? That's like, ah, oh, the kids are always saying soz these days. Magic 8 cube, should I make a nether portal and go to the nether? Try luck potion first. I think the cube just asked me to make potions before I go to the nether. I don't think the cube necessarily understands how impossible that is, but let's not question the cube and its infinite wisdom. And also, oh my god, the game has given me a spider jockey with armor on. So as best as I understand it, if you want to get potions before you go to the nether, the only real way is to kill witches, because they'll spawn under igloo basements sometimes, like weakness potions. Uh, but if we want to get some form of potion, we're going to have to go to a swamp and try and kill some witches or find some in a cauldron. But I realize that more and more the further we go into this, the more this is starting to sound like a religion rather than just following a cube. And... Uh, you know, it, it made me realize that like, oh, we kind of did start religion by accident here. 
like I've literally walked over a thousand blocks and haven't found anything, a lot of people might just say, you know, why don't I just go to the nether anyway? Why not just ignore the cube? Like, what what power does the cube have over me? I can do that anyway. But no, I'm, I'm a wiser man than that. I'm a, I know that the cube has logic that must not be questioned, and therefore we're just going to keep on going forwards until we find a witch's hut. We have finally found another swamp. This is, this is promising, because as you all know, swamp huts only generate in swamps. The Magic 8 Cube has given us a witch's hut. It's a super annoying one because it's in the middle of the water, so killing the witch will be tricky. However, if nothing else, we have pushed the witch away from her house now, which means that we can just hop right up in there. Which means that if we want to, we can actually fill our water bottles with the potion. In this case, it seems to be a potion of slowness. <laughs> I don't see how this is a luck potion, but fair enough. And boom, now you can get some free potions. It's usually not such a terrible one, like potion of slowness really has no use, right? Sometimes you can get pretty good potions, maybe even a luck potion if you're really lucky. Okay, I'm going to try and charge down the, the witch very shortly, as soon as she stops brewing her potions. I'm just going to try and do this. We're just going to try, run in there, attack, go, 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 go. Knock her into a wall, and then just spam hit her. She has to spend her time drinking those potions, and boom, we now have a potion of instant health as well. So I think this is definitely the luck potion. I don't think this counts as luck compared to this, but still, we've got some sugar in there as well. And I guess we should also get back to asking the cube important questions, like, okay, we need some more food, and we can't cook it all in the furnace, so should we start a little farm outside of our house? Magic 8 cube, should I start a wheat farm? Prediction blocked soz. Like, you can't read it, because again, there, this isn't like just, oh yeah, it's really shiny reflection. There is white stuff blocking the stuff. I'm just kind of making out what it says there. But the second answer is my sources say no. I am not making a farm today. And rather than feeling bad and thinking, oh yeah, wouldn't a farm have been fun? I can just be like, well, you know, no, it's not my decision to make. Out my hands. That is a separate thing that I am not dealing with today. There is something really satisfying, even if you don't like my particular house, about just seeing, like, your house surrounded by, like, clear planes on every side. Like, you know, like, you, you've got a good view on all sides of it, and it's all safe and fine. There's just something nice and relaxing about that. Whereas, when you have forests surrounding your house, you're always scared there's something in there that wants to kill you. And, uh, yeah, peace of mind. Fun fact. You can get it. Okay, I found the lava again, which means now we can officially go to the nether. Just in case you're not aware, it's really easy to go to the nether. All you need is a big pit of lava, some water and then a little bit of time to make yourself a portal. Like, it really is super satisfying, just slowly but surely making a portal out of thin air. And just like this, we've made ourselves a nether portal, and we're ready to go into the nether. So let's make a flint and steel, using my last piece of iron that I have because I couldn't make an iron sword, and let's do this. But there are two main reasons to come to the nether, and it's not just killing ghasts, uh, but you either come here to get blaze rods to help you with the inner dragon, or to get wither skulls to help you defeat the uh, wither boss. Uh, so let's work out which of those two things we're doing. This is a highly questionable decision, but I'm going to bridge out over to this nether fortress. Really should hop down, but yet we're not doing that in the slightest, it seems. I don't know how it worked, but somehow I have made myself a wooden walkway over to the fortress. And now we ask the question, should we kill, because I've seen a wither skeleton first, should we kill wither skeletons and try and defeat the wither today? Magic 8 cube, should we kill wither skeletons and try and defeat the wither today? Guaranteed pay dirt. What does that mean? I really want to know what guaranteed pay dirt, of all things, like, I really can't work it out. But yeah, guaranteed pay dirt is, is the answer. So, guess we're killing some wither skeletons today. Or we're gonna die trying. I mean, one of those two things. Oh god, there is four of them. Oh god, oh god, this might be the end. Okay, it's not the end, it's not the end. It's not the- it's never the end. We got a wither skull! Oh my god, that is very lucky. Oh, two diamonds. Heck yeah, and some obsidian. I mean, I don't think I need that, but still. Super nice, right? Oh god, oh, that was close. This is- oh man, oh, oh gosh. Hey, our second skull already. Oh, we got an upgrade to diamond horse armor. This is gonna be a really fun wither fight, I reckon. So I think as long as I can make it out of this fortress unimpeded, this might be the fastest speed run of like getting free skulls I've ever done. Like for real, this was like a legit speed run where I hadn't like goofed around. I this this is absurd. Like so we've got a very serious task up ahead. So to kind of like ease off the uh, mood a little bit, isn't it kind of fun how it looks having a shield in one hand and a map in the other? Like there's just something kind of satisfying about like oh yeah, this is my protection arm and this is my reading arm. We'll just do both at the same time and it will be fine. 
I can't find any horses in this entire plains biome. Like, there were some here earlier and they're just gone now. It's a huge plains, there should be some. Although, actually, wait, what if maybe, just maybe, the saddle was not a sign that we're defeating the wither on horseback. What if maybe that's a sign that the, the glorious animal, the one animal we're allowed to eat, is actually the uh, solution to this one. But remember how I made a day room? To me at least, this sounds like a perfect place for the wither spawning. Let's do it. So yeah, I should probably be a bit more concerned about this and probably be a bit more prepared. But I, I think that everything's gonna work. You know, the wither is on my side, so sure, why not? And let's go on our roof at the best place to fight, I reckon. Oh, we're a bit too close to the wither. Oh no, we gotta get out of here. Jeez. Oh, and it hurt me from, okay, so that's bad news. But, oh, we don't have any blocks either. So we just have to run in there and uh, hope that it's in distance of us. Yeah, no, I've, I've lost the wither. Oh, did you see what happened there? The wither just despawned. Maybe? Or flew away so fast I can't find it. So we're definitely not on peaceful. It's difficulty normal. So either the wither flew away, I mean, so scared of my talents, or the wither just died because of a glitch in the current update, maybe? I'm not sure which it is, but as you can just see, I beat Minecraft following the 8 cube the entire way. Yeah, the wither, like, if, if the wither's here anywhere, I don't see it. Maybe my house is just so good, the wither died on sight upon seeing such a beauty. Because I didn't see the wither for a second there. It's gone. It's, it's, it's dusted. Okay, so there's no, uh, never star. So the, the, the wither didn't die in the natural way. There wasn't, like, my house didn't kill it. But it did despawn or fly away so fast that I have no idea how to track it down. And to me, at least, that's a victory. So... Here is the beautiful magic eight cube house. It saved me from the wither. And here's the best bit. Oh, get this. Signs point to yes. That managed to survive. Of all the things in the house, my furnace is gone. My entire day room is gone. My entire divide is gone. My ceiling's gone. But what did survive is my sign signs saying the magic eight cube is yes. So if you don't believe in the magic eight cube religion, I hope that now you'll change your mind just a little bit. So yeah, I feel like that's a a pretty natural ending point for the most ridiculous video I've ever made. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this particular uh, challenge, I guess you could call it. If you did, you can like it and let me know. You can share it if you really liked it, and you can subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one that, that aren't as terrible every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. You know, I don't think I'm ever going to use this thing again, so I figured rather than letting it sit around, you know, that's going to be like bad for the environment, it's just waste some space in your house. So instead, we're going to slowly destroy it by just... Actually, that's surprisingly strong. That that, that sounded like it broke the floor. Uh, but yeah, like, so this thing, it feels hefty. It's got like a... It would it hurts to punch this sort of thing. So I'm wondering, what sort of force does it take to destroy as it rains, by the way? Jesus. <laughs> that probably bounces, like... Like, look... The way this this thing moves, but yeah, we're gonna see what it takes to destroy this thing. So yeah, with all of that, this is the only thing we've done. We got a little chip here, where we can maybe see on the inside. So <laughs> it just it just so it just telling... does not break, and but... it's still to this day. Look at this. You can still see. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> oh, there we go. My sources say no. That's how it responds to us trying to break it. This thing does not break, no matter how hard you try. I tried to break this thing for quite some time. I, I couldn't do it. Like, you can see how with all of that pressure, we've gone a little bit of whiteness and like, you know, plastic is, I guess, stretching and stuff like that. But the cube is entirely intact. We can still ask the questions like, should you like and subscribe to this video? What does that even say? The viewers know. No, maybe with a mob though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good good response to that one. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching today's video. Uh, this this is terrible. Um, I don't know how to get rid of this now, but I hope to see you all in another one. Wait, I'm gonna bash it with like if I bash this bit specifically. One sec. I reckon. Oh. <laughs> Careful, you might break your house. <laughs> That's a good point. I, I, like, even with all of that, yeah, this, this doesn't break. Okay, goodbye.